We're going to be going over the eight short answer um, response strategy. So in STAR, in high school, and for this year and next year, you guys will be writing short answer responses. A short answer response is an analytical paragraph. It is an idea in response to a question. So you will be get, given a prompt and you'll have to answer it in a paragraph. The idea represents the quality and depth of thinking and understanding of reading. A successful short answer response goes beyond the literal reading of the text. So it offers your insight. In your notes, pause this video, in your notes, in your LMB, please write these four um, explanations for apes. A is answer, P is prove, E is explain, and S is a special closing statement. You may press pause to write in your notes. APES is an acronym that will help you remember the steps to writing a solid short answer response on STAR or in school um, in your classroom. Think of APES as a checklist that you can use whenever you are answering a question based on reading from class. So in your notes, you need to know that A means that you have to answer the question or answer the prompt. This is going to be your topic sentence for the paragraph. So for instance, if the question is, do you like cats or dogs better? Your answer would be, I prefer cats more than dogs. So you have to answer the prompt. If you write a wonderful paragraph and you do not answer the prompt, you just tell me why cats are great, but you don't outright answer the prompt, then you will not get a passing grade. It is very important that you restate the prompt or the question in your answer. According to the rubric for the short answer response, if you do not answer the question, you will earn an automatic score of a zero out of a possible four. P is for proof or provide text evidence to your answer or your topic sentence. You can't make a statement without providing proof to back up your argument. You have to tell me why cats are better than dogs. So you will go back to the passage, the article, whatever it is, uh, the text that you are responding to, and pull direct quotations from that text and put it inside your paragraph using quotes. And we've already talked about how to punctuate quotes correctly. The author states in the passage, comma, open quotes, cats are easier to take care of because they clean themselves and you never have to bathe them. I made that up, period, end quotes. You must, your quotation must relate to your answer. You can't choose a quotation that has nothing to do with what you were writing about. Keep in mind, your quotation is the proof to your answer. Then you must explain. In a sentence or two, you will give an explanation how your quotation relates to your answer. Remember that your quote must always relate to your answer, and which is the first line in your response. So here you would give me your own ideas on why you think cats are better pets than dogs, and you would explain the quote on how you can never give them, you never have to give them a bath, and they use a potty and a litter box, and they're very cleanly animals. And then at the end, you cannot end your paragraph with quotations or a text evidence. You should not end it with an explanation. You need to have a sentence that closes up your paragraph. You can sum it up or you can just provide an idea, a thought. This is the last one or two sentences of your paragraph. Wrap up your thoughts and claims that you've made in your answers. Our goal with the S part of APES is to wrap up all of your ideas into a nice little package of coherent thoughts. Cats make wonderful pets. You must go and adopt one today. And so now I have wrapped up my paragraph. Do not repeat word for word what you have said already. Don't bring up a new idea that you haven't already addressed. Don't say dogs are okay also, because that goes against your paragraph. And do not end with text evidence. Do not use yes or no in your answers. Do not start off your answers with yes or no. Remember that you are starting to 
starting your response with an answer to a question. Avoid using I, me, we, us. I love cats more. Then just say cats make better pets. The questions are not asking about you. The question is asking about the text. Stay text focused. Answer the question. Provide text evidence. Explain your proof in relation to your answer. Provide a special closing sentence. When you are done with this, please go to this activity. Open up the, the um, assignment and answer this question. What did Helene symbolize or represent to Richard, the narrator, in the text Shame? Familiarize yourself with the text. You may reread it if you would like. It's going to be linked there for you. And tell me what you think Helene represented to Richard. He thought about her his whole life until he was in his 30s. What did she symbolize to him? Answer the prompt. Provide text evidence. Explain. Answer the text evidence. And give a closing sentence. Have a great day, gladiators. Go buy a cat.